During one of my comparative government classes, my entire class had a long, heated debate. Feelings were hurt. Friendships were broken. <laughs> Nobody came out of that room the same. We, of course, were debating Mexican food. <laughs> this entire controversy started when one of my classmates, Ali Solomon, boldly declared that a fajita is just the meat, not including the tortilla. Immediately, sides were taken. The classroom became a war zone. A full-scale tortilla-induced crusade took place. I sided with those who believe that a fajita is, just, or is not just the meat. It's the holy union between tortilla and meat, guacamole and salsa, sour cream and cheese. We argued, uh, we argued by comparing fajitas to hamburgers. The, the hamburger patty is not the hamburger, just like the fajita meat is not just the fajita. The other side uh, retorted by saying that the tortilla and other ingredients were a side to the meat. Their analogy was French fries are to hamburgers as tortillas are to fajitas. Neither side could find the sense in each other's arguments. As the battle brewed and the divide grew further and further apart, all hell broke loose. <laughs> The debate spiraled out of control, and many debates were conjured up throughout the room. The war was not just about fajitas anymore. This all started when another one of my classmates, Judge McQuithy, asked the question, what's the difference between a soft taco and a fajita? This completely changed the dynamic of the room. I held the opinion that uh, the fajita has different meat than the soft taco. While the other side scrutinized me, the majority of my team were on my side. The opposing forces believed that the fajita meat, uh, that the fajita is just a meat, so that a soft taco is what the fajita becomes once wrapped up in a tortilla. Furthermore, there were those in my own party who believed that there was no difference between a fajita and a soft taco. I thought that was ludicrous. <laughs> While I was dealing with the mutiny on my side, all these forces had their own problems. Uh, most of his followers gained some common sense and started to switch sides. And um, he only had around one or two more followers. Uh, I thought the fight was almost over. Students on both sides uh, were getting tired and morale was at an all-time low. Then suddenly, our teacher, Dr. Barnes, spoke up and gave his own opinion. <laughs> All eyes were on him. There was not a sound in the room. With a sadistic smile, he sided with Ali. Not because he believed in Ali's cause, but because he liked to see us fight amongst each other. <laughs> he poured gasoline on the fire that was cooking the hate, anger, and chaos in the room. The whole class erupted. Immediately, Ali's side strengthened and the war waged on. Both sides were equally stubborn and did not want to be wrong. Then suddenly, one of my other classmates, Jason Wynn, had a simple yet ingenious idea. We could just look up the definition of fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> so we all gathered around him while he looked up the definition. It was the moment of truth. Some of us would bathe in everlasting glory while the others would drown in shame. Fajitas are not just the meat. We were right. We were victorious. After, le after leaving that class, I had a more in-depth knowledge and appreciation for Mexican cuisine. For some odd reason, I fell deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole and started researching Mexican foods fervently. Although most of my research was eating fajitas, I eventually did look up the origins of it. 
while I was looking up information on fajitas, I found something that was uh, startling. My hand started to tremble and I kept on looking back at my screen to see if I had misread. What I found was that in the 1930s, Mexicans, uh, some Mexicans uh, were working in South Texas cattle ranches. And instead of being paid meat, I mean, instead of being paid in money, they were being paid in meat. And they informally called this meat fajita. Oh. This, means, <laughs> this means that I was wrong in the context of the origin of the word fajitas. And even worse, Ali was right. <laughs> However, I was right according to today's definition of the word fajita. Then and there, I realized how stupid this debate was. We created a fake dichotomy, an us and them, a right and wrong, a good and evil. We blindly followed one side while blindly dismissing the other. We believe uh, this to be a black and white issue while leaving no room for nuanced opinions. We let a minor detail create a major divide, but in reality, we had something much more important in common. We all love fajitas. Thank you.